So the Earth has had ice ages. So when the ice came rumbling down across New York and Boston and Chicago, and then it melted back for purely natural reasons that are ultimately linked to features of the Earth's orbit. The features don't change the total amount of sunshine the planet gets over the whole thing in a year very much, but they do change where and when. For example, if you think about the North Pole sticking out of the top of my head, it is tipped over a little bit, and the tip increases and decreases over about 40,000 years, 41,000. And when it tips over more, the sun can illuminate my bald spot of the Arctic a little more. And when it tips back up, the sun illuminates the equator a little more. And there's also a wiggle and then the shape of the orbit changes. And these are going on over tens of thousands of years. When the North Pole gets a lot of sun, you tend to melt ice, and when the North Pole gets a little sun, you tend to grow ice. And so the ice has come and gone. Typically, over the last million years, the ice grew for about 90,000 years and shrank for about 10,000 years and then came back. We're in an interesting time now. If nature were left entirely to itself, we believe that it would stay warm for another 40,000 years or so, and then that the ice would grow back. It's a little different than the previous cycles, but not grossly so.